Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what the true intentions are when it comes to the person that is on your mind when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's true intentions toward you currently is faded love. We also have the Knight of Cups and we have connection, communicate, all right? So when it comes to this person, they want to come toward you in a romantic way or a loving way, okay? I feel like for some of you, there's going to be some communication coming in from this person. They want to connect with you on an intimate level or on a romantic level, okay? This person feels as though the two of you are fated to be, be together, okay? They feel like the two of you are soulmates, that the two of you are meant to be. So for some of you, yeah, there's going to be some communication coming in from this person, letting you know how they feel about you. So I feel like this person, one of you may have walked away from the other, or you may be thinking about walking away. And I feel like this person, they're going to come in trying to make it hard for you. Okay. So if you're currently thinking about wa walking away, if the two of you are still dealing with each other, they want to make it hard for you to leave. Now, if you've already walked away from this person or if they walked away from you, I feel like this person wants to come back toward you and they want to block you from finding anyone else or from, um, or from leave. They want to block you from leaving them behind altogether. So yeah, right now this person, they're plotting, okay? They're trying to figure out how to do this. I do feel as though this person has had like an epiphany or an aha moment. I feel like this person is starting to see you from a different perspective or in a new light, but they're realizing that they want to be with you, okay? This person, they want harmony between the two of you. They do want a relationship. They may communicate with that with you, okay? For some of you, this person, they may be hiding some things in regards to their past. When they do come in, they may not tell you everything, okay? I feel as though this person's intuition is telling them to try and reconcile with you or to try to make things right. Also, Spirit is stating when it comes to you, make sure that you use your intuition when it comes to this person because... Um, even though some of you may have wanted a relationship with them at some point in time, I just feel like when it comes to this person, they're very chaotic. They cause a lot of chaos. I also feel as though this person is very burdened. They have a lot of things going on in their life right now. And for some of you, if this person walked away from you at any point in time, it's like they walked away from you and walked right into burdens. And it, whatever situation they got themselves into, it blew up in their face, okay? They're worried about you finding a divine masculine or a divine feminine. I feel like this person, um, they like control, very dominant energy here. I also feel like this person may have like a temper problem or like temper um, issues, they can blow up, especially when things are not going their way. For some of you, this person is trying to figure out how to cover up some secrets, okay? They have very strong emotions for you, but I feel like they try their best to hide it or remain in control of their emotions. This person, like I said, they do want to come in and offer you love. They want to heal this connection with you. But I feel as though a lot of you have your guard up when it comes to them and you're protecting yourself. You want to remain balanced. I feel as though for some of you, um, you may have overextended yourself at some point in time with this person. So some of you are guarded when it comes to even having a relationship with this person. I feel like you feel more at peace when you're not dealing with them. 
okay you're very wise i feel as though spirit is definitely working with you or giving you messages through your intuition in regards to this person so definitely pay attention to your intuition because there's a lot of knowledge that um is going to be coming to you through your intuition even if you don't have pure facts spirit is going to be giving you downloads in regards to this person so yeah, they want to reconcile and make things right with their empress, whether you're a male or a female, this person, I feel as though, um, I feel like they're aware of your worth. They know what you mean to them. They may not always express it, but I feel like that's why they want to reconcile or make things right. Also, you give this person an ego boost. I feel like there's something about you that makes this person look good, whether it's physically or whether you're successful or um, whether you just have a lot of emotions for this person very nurturing or something like that there's something that you do that gives this person an ego boost they're very attracted to you they like the way that you look yeah this person um they see you as someone that they see you as someone that's very caring someone that likes to make sure that other people are good especially the people that you care about i feel like you I always try to make sure that everyone is good, that everyone is either taken care of or um, you just try to make sure that everyone is good. I feel like sometimes you may put the needs of others before yourself at times. It could be family that you do this with or your children or anyone that you're in a connection with. I feel like sometimes you turn away from what's good for you or what you need in order to make sure everyone else is happy. This person is also very possessive when it comes to you. They may even be materialistic. For some of you, if you do very well in your career or if you have nice things, this person may be jealous of that. I also feel as though they'll use um, their gift of gab or their mouth to tell you what they think you want to hear. So you can't completely believe what this person says. It's like you're coming up as the queen of pentacles, whether you're a male or a female. And this person is coming up as the page of pentacles. Okay. Well, you're coming up as the empress and the emperor. But in this instance, this person sees you as very stable. Okay. And they're over here barely able to make it. And I feel like when it comes to you, that's one reason why they like to stay connected to you because I feel like this person, they don't think they're on your level. So when they're with you, they feel as though you make them look like they have leveled up or something of that nature. I feel like this person also spends beyond their means. They may even spend money on things that they don't need or things to, um, or materialistic things, possibly even drugs or alcohol. Okay, but yeah, this person, like I said before, is very much attracted to you. And I feel like um, they may, you may see this person's possessive or controlling side. They may tell you something or they have told you something in the past in regards to your, you belong to them or it's like they see you as a possession This person may come off a little aggressive toward you. And what I mean by that is um, this person, they may resort to when they come in with communication, they're going to come in in a very dominant way. Okay. But I see that you may be fighting this person off for some of you. Um, Spirit wants you to protect yourself against anything this person says. Some of you may abandon having a new start with this person because it's like every time you're focused on healing, this person comes back in trying to get your attention. You already don't trust them, okay? I also feel as though if this person has done anything dirty or low down in their past, they may be um, experiencing some karma right now. 
So yeah, they just want to stop you from moving forward. But if you are moving forward, spirit is stating to remain strong. You may want to avoid this person because I feel like they're trying to get you in your feelings. Now, if you do want a new opportunity with this person, just be careful not to... Um, be careful if you were to come together with them. Be careful about pouring all of your love into this person um, right away because I feel like you may end up regretting it. Now, for some of you, I feel like this person may have started dealing with someone else for money or for materialistic means. That person may have been using them or they may have been using that person. And I feel as though they regret that. So it's like this person is coming in to choose you, okay? Because I feel like they were playing around with someone else and they ran right into heartbreak, okay? They may have broke that other person's heart or that person may have broke their heart. Hmm. They may have found out that other person was dealing with someone else. But yeah... This is a soulmate, okay? But I feel like the two of you, like the connection has just grown cold. The queen and the king of swords, that's not the best connection. I feel like the two of you bicker or you would bicker a lot. Two very strong personalities here. It's like um, this person likes for likes to have your full attention, but they at times come off as attached. I feel like you guys just want to be happy. Now, some of you may choose to come together with this person. For others of you, you're not going to give them the time of day. And I, I see why. But yeah, someone's rushing back in um, toward you. And they're going to try to make it hard for you to leave. And if you've already left, they're going to try to make it hard for you to continue walking away from them. So that's why they're going to come in with this communication to try to get you all in your feelings and things such as that. So keep a heads up when it comes to that. All right. So let's get a few more cards. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person's true intention toward my viewers. What is this person's true intention toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right. So we have solutions, resolutions. See, this person, they're going to try to resolve any issues with you in regards to how they've handled your heart. Okay. I feel like this person didn't always handle your heart very gently. Okay. So they're going to try to come in with some solutions or to resolve any manners. I feel as though um, this, per this person, they may have some wounds that need to be healed from their past. Okay. That may be why they're so um, rough with a person's heart. Why, you know, and that's no excuse. But I feel like this person just didn't handle your heart the way that they should have. And so now they're going to try to come in and resolve that. Give me one more card. Thank you. So we have Unbreakable. So when it comes to this person, they're not able to break they feel connected to you because you see here these hearts are intertwined so this person they feel like the two of you have an unbreakable bond regardless of what happens they feel as though the two of you are connected there may be some soul tie energy here okay i also feel like this person um they've gone through a lot of trauma in their life and they may be the type that project their traumas onto others and disrupt the lives of others with chaos. And that tends to get them into trouble at times. Okay. This person may 
like whenever they get in their feelings, they may get a little chaotic or they don't always make the right choices. Hmm. All right, so let's clarify a few of these cards. Okay, give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person's true intentions toward my viewers currently. What is this person's true intentions when it comes to my viewers? Two more shuffles. Those of you that have become detached from this person or if you're just not um, putting your all and so this connection like you used to, it stresses them out. We have the Nine of Cups. See, they want their wishes to be fulfilled with you. They're going to be giving you a love offer, okay? If you were to accept it, it's going to stroke this person's ego, okay? For some of you, this person may have been drinking a lot. But yeah, when it comes to accepting this love offer, Spirit again is urging you to use your intuition. Some of you are psychic. Okay, you have very strong, um, very strong intuition. Just, you know, use your intuition when it comes to this person, because for some of you, they're hiding some secrets or this person, whenever they get into their feelings, they become chaotic. Now, for some of you, if you were to, um, discover some secrets in regards to this person, I feel like you will see their temper flare. For others of you, this person, they may have went towards someone else at some point in time that they were trying to hide from you and that blew up in their face, okay? So yeah, just definitely use your intuition when it comes to this person. Don't um, second guess it, use your intuition. All right, so why, give me more about solutions and resolutions. Why is that here for this person's energy? Thank you. So we have the four of cups. So this person feels as though you may no longer be interested in them. Okay. I also feel as though at some point when you were interested, you may have felt as though this person was ignoring you or that they may have been paying attention to other people, okay? So that's one of the things that they want to resolve. They don't want you to be focused on anyone else, okay? So if there are any other love offers coming in for you, they want you to ignore those love offers and focus on them. But I feel like this person, they don't feel your cup. Like they don't make you completely happy. I also feel like this person, um, they cause your emotions to be a little unstable. Some of you still have strong love for this person. For others of you, even if you do love them or if you don't love, love them, you've just been trying to hold back because some of you, um, I feel like whenever you start showing strong love for this person you end up regretting it i feel like um at some point your love for this person may have cloud clouded your judgment or you may have not been seeing things very clearly when it comes to them and what i mean by that is for some of you it's like you were so deeply in love with this person that you may have overlooked red flags you, your intuition may have been telling you that there were other options. For some of you, you knew that this person may have been entertaining other options, but you were so in love with them that you may have, um, you may have like, instead of just facing it, you may have tried to turn a blind eye to it. Okay. Hmm. All right, give me more about um, Faded Love. Why is that here for this person's energy? Why is Faded Love here? Wow, the Six of Cups. So this person, um, the two of you had a past life together. You may have even been married in a past life. Okay, that's one reason why this person is so dominant when it comes to you. That's why they're always trying to win you over. I feel like when this person leaves, a lot of the time they end up coming back. Okay, 
that's why they don't want your attention on anyone else they just have a strong pull toward you even when they start looking at other options i feel like they always end up coming back trying to get your attention so for some of you um you definitely had a past life with this person that's why they feel it so the two of you are meant to be and like i said that communication is going to be coming in from this person wanting to reconcile with you okay all right so why is connection communicate here why is that here for this person's energy thank you see they're going to be trying to say things to make everything right between the two of you okay i feel like this person um they're stressed they may feel as though you have another lover it doesn't make it true that's just how they feel Okay, they may try to resolve any um, arguments or any issues between the two of you, any drama, any past drama. They may try to um, resolve that. Also, if there's anyone else competing for your love, they're going to try to make it where you choose them. So this person, they want to make things right with you. Okay, why is unbreakable here for this person's energy? Why is unbreakable here? I feel like you spark this person's interest like no other. There's something about you that's different. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. So when it comes to this person, for some of you, I feel like either you or this person at some point stop putting in the work. Even if you do feel a strong bond toward this person, some of you decided to um just take a loss in regards to how much you have how much work you've put in with this person and just walk away because you know that there's something better i also feel like for some of you even though the bond is unbreakable between the two of you i feel like this person just has a good talk game i feel like they just don't want you to walk away because with the Eight of Pentacles, if it was upright, I would say that this person, they want to put in the work and they're willing to put in the work. But see, it's in reverse. So it lets me know that even though they feel this unbreakable bond between the two of you, this person is either distracted or they're not going to put in the work when it comes to the two of you um, having a healthy, committed relationship. See, it's all talk. They just have a good talk game. So just be careful when it comes to this person. I do feel like they love you, but I feel like they're the type that don't show it. Okay? They're not going to put in the work here. They're not going to put in the work. It's all talk. So it's like this person will talk a good game, but when it comes down to making the right choices or putting in the work, there there's no action cards here other than the Knight of Cups. And they're going to do that in the beginning. But as things progress, okay, there's nothing. There are no action cards other than someone walking away, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.